money. Give me a thumbs up. What is going on? My Reefy Jam merch here, Frank Box TV. And today's video, I mean, hi, welcome back to the channel. Uh, show them the store, do a little tour. We have Tia, the camera woman, today. We are shooting from lovely <laughs> Toronto. If you're new to the channel, welcome. This is a store that specializes in saltwater corals. Okay, what are we doing? We're going to be setting up a Red Sea Reef Dose 4. So, they come in two models. Why are we setting it up? Oh, Dylan, please. Hi. Hi, Hi Dylan. Hi, Reef Co. This is Dylan. Um, they come in two models, so a two head and a four head. And why would you add a doser to an aquarium? Dosing Offers. alk, meg, calcium, alpha whatever, yeah, whatever you want. Whatever you want to add. So sometimes, not sometimes, usually you have to add liquid. So on this tank here, I'm going to start dosing uh, Fauna's Trace and also their aminos. So without a doser, you're basically measuring and adding by hand daily, which is a big pain in the butt. So why am I using the Red Sea one? Because we sell a lot of them and I haven't set one up yet. So I want some experience because um, I like to be able to talk to customers about products when I actually use it. I'm going to mount it here on the wall. And this one's got four heads. The other model has two. So you can set up four different liquids. On the other one, you can set up just two, which is kind of nice because I love Neptune. Shout out to Neptune. We're using probably six of these in the shop, but you only get two. So a lot of people are going to dose more than two. Tia's nodding her head yeah. behind the camera. She's going, yes, sir, like this. You, like you can get calcium and alk, but then how about magnesium? So I'm going to try this one out. I'm going to do trace elements, amino acids, iodine, potassium. Mm, some chemistry today. I think I'm going to mount it here if I can get it on the wall. And then I'll put the bottles maybe here to kind of show people what we're uh, using. So I'm going to try and mount it like as nice as I can. Hopefully that works. And connects via an app. So I just downloaded this here. I'll show you how it works. Actually, maybe we'll go through it together. Oh, password. It's very hard to guess. Boom. It's called the ReefBeat app. You just download it off your Android or smartphone or Samsung or whatever you're using. Uh, let's sign up. Okay, cut. Hold on, coffee break. <laughs> Did you just say that? Yeah, I did. I was about to cut it and Tia said, no, no, people like this. It's like ASMR. Does anyone out there watch ASMR videos? Mm, I'm going to unwrap it super slow. Listen to the crinkle. Crinkle, crinkle. Oh, nice. <laughs> and now listen to the sound of this. Garbage. Global warming. You hear those sounds? <laughs> oh. Okay. Nice box. If you don't want to see the unboxing, you can skip ahead. If you're a tech nerd like us, then stick around. Manual, very important. I ain't gonna use that. Okay. <laughs> Not even to set it up. That was for comedic effect. Um, this is what you should dose. So they give you four because they want you to dose their uh, Red Sea A, B, C, D. But what if you were just doing A, B, C? A, B, C. Oh, then you would do A, B plus A, B, C, and then A, B, C, D, so trace the colors. Whole, the whole thing, you, you need, need two, three, and four. You need seven heads of dosing. Plus, there you go. Uh, two. These just went up in price too. I think they're around $700 Canadian right now. Mm. Oh, very nice. I've actually never held one of these, mm -hmm. but we do sell a bunch of them. Let's take it out. Reminds me of audio equipment. Oh yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty slick. I oh, I like how short it is. Huh. Mm. How am I going to mount it? I might have to MacGyver something or build a little Let's shelf. see the mount. There's the it's back. Like a little plate. This looks like maybe on off. Oh, ah, <laughs> super professional. Okay, so that works. I'll stick that on the wall and then it looks like I can just whoosh, put that down. Um, I think it's designed also to work with this. This is the Red Sea slide out panel. Mm -hmm. So this basically is a panel that slides out of your door and you can mount your dosers along with your um, controllers for your skimmer, your turn pump, and what's it called? I Reef recommend it. not trying to build those. I tried to build one and it's crazy. Tia's word of advice today is do not build those. Yeah, Just buy it. Buy it. <laughs> power supply. This is very important. No power, no working. Calibration. Oh, nice. It's actually glass. I'm impressed. Glass? Yeah, glass. Oh. Not plastic. A couple screws to, uh, screws to mount the bracket. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and connect this thing and then I will give you my very, very honest opinion on how I feel about connecting because I have used the Reef Beat app in the past to connect those, the Reef Waves, 
and it's uh. part of the reason why I'm not super in love with them. I do like the gyre sort of flow throughout a tank. I like the style, I like the design. I remember getting quite frustrated with the app, but that was a long time ago when they first released it, so I'm hoping that we'll see. Let's let's get through it, we'll go through it together and then we'll see. So far it feels pretty good. It feels like I like the size. It's, it's compact. Yeah. Especially it's, it's compared compact. the Neptune dose is not tiny. Mm -hmm. But these use stepper motors, I believe, so they're designed to run continuously. So if you want to do like continuous automatic water change. Mm -hmm. Designs so that you can leave them on all the time. I are don't those know if it's peristaltic? Peristaltic. Yeah. Those Maybe. Stepper. These are big and loud. Loud. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's try hooking this thing up. We gotta have an account, though. No? Yeah. We do. Wait. Move your arm. Look at these. So nice. <laughs> what are you doing? Give me a paw. Give me a paw. Oh no. Okay, a scratch. Sit. Oh, a stretch. No, sit. Sit. You don't listen. Mm. All these. And those are stickers. Stickers. Make your own little bottles. Smart. So we're just setting it up here. We call this one display. Let's say it's a mixed reef aquarium brand, other because it's our own aquarium model. Me, aquarium volume, let's say 400 gallons. Net water volume, so let's say the same. And time zone, that's probably important. Okay, so they got these cool little buttons on the front. Listen to the sound running, running. You hear it? Listen. What mm. is that? Little clicky clicky. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear it on the camera, but. That sounds normal. Normal. What's going on? Maybe something catching on the inside. Okay. Make sure the device is connected to the power. Done. Press the connection button on the device for five seconds. Wait for the light to blink. Done. Look. Blinky, blinky. Blink. It's blinking. Go to settings, Wi-Fi on your phone. I left my phone at home. Shit. Uh, okay. See ya. Okay, that's pretty easy. So you go to open your phone, go to Wi-Fi, select the Reef Dose R Dose 4, and then for password, it just wants you to enter password. So far, so good. Okay, so with the heads off, they sound normal. It's only about the same. Okay, right, one, two. Something's, something's up inside here. I, I feel like it's just air moving through the tube. Looks like we're almost there. Rock on. Okay, I have it here mounted on the wall and I got the first one already set up. I'm just running the dosing lines and you prime them. It's pretty easy through the app. And then I'm actually using the same bottles as you can see as the dosing container. So the way I do that is I just take my beautiful Milwaukee drill here with this bit and I'm just drilling a hole in the top so that I can pop my airline um, right down into the bottom of the bottle. I guess the only downside of that is I can't really see when it's empty. I'm gonna have to go and shake it. So. A clear dosing container would make a little more sense, but we're a bunch of staff here in the store. These will work, and we have another one actually that we sell uh, up there. It's, oh, sorry, it's a three-in-one, as you can see, and they're clear, so you can um, see through it. I kind of like the way the bottles look. It'll look kind of cool up here mounted, and then customers can see exactly what we're using um, at any given time on the aquarium. All right, that's it. I got it hooked up. It was pretty easy. The app was very intuitive. Uh, calibrating it was also very easy. It was bang on, like 4.1 millimeters exactly. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. Just one thing, I don't know why these are not working right now. Maybe there's a setting. There's a lot of settings um, in there. There's this one mode that's called whisper mode, which I think is kind of cool. Okay, it's running normally. It is a little bit loud, like if you were to use it maybe um, kind of like this or in a living room or not in a cabinet. I'm very impressed with the build quality. It looks super sleek. Again, I tried connecting these back in the day. Uh, wasn't super duper impressed, but they've obviously made improvements because I found it very user friendly. I didn't get stuck anywhere. It took me about 10 minutes, I would say, to open up a Red Sea account. You gotta log in and then connect it with Wi-Fi, all that fun stuff like you do with anything. Um, everything's basically becoming a smart controllable device now in the hobby. But that wasn't too hard. I got it programmed to do how much 
I want a dose of this and this in millimeters. That was really easy too. And then for wiring of the actual hose, I just went with this. I had some um, kind of sleek black airline tubing lying around. Red Sea does offer colored tubing. I wanted something that didn't really distract too much from the tank. They are cool. They're funky colors. Um, color coated so you could do red, yellow, orange, pink, blue, green, teal, purple, whatever you like. And then they come with a couple cool accessories here like a dosing line holder and a tube organizer. Neither of those worked for the application that I'm doing here, but those are basically just to hold your tubes in line. I just have them sitting loose underneath this overflow box and then I ran them behind the hydro mount. You can kind of see them there and then they loop around this way. We'll see how tough this is going to be when it comes to actually change the bottles out and I may I may opt out for a clear container so that I can see how much is in there and then maybe just peel the graphics off the front and stick them on there so I kind of get show off a little bit of the fauna and then also see how much is being dosed. I know Red Sea would probably like to see um, their products being dosed on this. I have used them in the past. We sell a ton of them. I recommend them all the time and I am using calcium, elk, and magnesium, their foundation supplements on the entire store. You just don't see it, it's in the basement dosing. But um, there, I would like to use this, but their um, aminos have to be refrigerated. I'm sure there's a good reason for that. And their trace elements are a little bit more complicated than I wanna use on this. They come A, B, C, D, four bottles, four dosers. Fauna has them all built into one. Um, right there. So that's it. Um, I'm going to give it a hmm, rating. I'm going to give it in terms of build like 9 out of 10. Um, there was that maybe 8 out of 10, that little clicking coming from this one. Uh, I don't know why these are not running manually. So I kind of would like if that would happen. And these were a little bit tricky to understand how to screw them on, but they're very, very secure once you get them. Price point, it is definitely up there. I think in the store, it is our most expensive doser, but you are getting four heads. I want to say it's around 700 Canadian right now. I am really impressed with it. I would recommend it. You don't have to be tech savvy or um, like uh, really good with technology in order to set it up you could do it easily and now I have experience with it so you can always email and call us and that's it for today's video if you guys enjoyed it or if you have any questions about Bulldogs specifically this one right here or anything to do with reef tanks uh, Red Sea Doser anything to do with the Red Sea Dosing line anything at all hit us up our email is available on our website check it out that's fragbox.ca and thank you very much for watching today's episode see you back here soon bye